What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the best Google Chrome extensions for YouTubers. Now all these extensions are going to be free and in the first half, we're going to be covering extensions that are better for YouTube analytics. And in the second half, we're going to be covering extensions that you can use to improve functionality of your browser that will allow you to do different things when you're creating videos. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first extension on this list is the simplest. It's called Text for YouTube, and it does exactly that. If you add it to Chrome, you can scroll to the bottom of any video and simply see what tags that user is using for all of their different videos. Now I'm going to be covering the second and third analytics tool at the same time because I believe that they're both equally good and they offer a lot of functionality. If you're going to be downloading an analytics tool, you don't need to have both of them at the same time. And I'm talking about both TubeBuddy and Video IQ. Now, in my opinion, both of them are very, very similar. If you go and search for any video, both of these extensions will give you all of the analytics behind how strong the keyword search is, how many videos are in that niche, as well as all of the keywords that are being used. And then you have the option of copying the keywords. When you click on a video, the stats you also get are very, very similar. You know, both of them tell you about the trends and how many views that video has gotten over time. VidIQ will tell you the views per hour, but overall, when you click on any YouTube video, both of these stat tools give you enough data to figure out if that video is going to be trending or not. Now, I think the biggest difference between these two analytics tools is TubeBuddy is better for your own videos and helping, you know, automate certain tasks. For example, you can create a bunch of different templates and profiles, which you can automatically apply to each new YouTube video that you make. Whereas vidIQ is better for analyzing other channels and their analytics, as you like to call it. With vidIQ, you can see how videos are doing on your competitors' channels. You can see which ones are doing the best and you can see their statistics over time as well. So at the end of the day, it comes out to personal preference. I would highly recommend that you use both for a week each and then choose what's best for you. Now let's move into the more functional extensions that you can use. And so the first functional extension on this list is called Hootlet. It's a extension by Hootsuite. And basically what this extension allows you to do is it allows you to automatically schedule posts for any of your social media accounts. So if you have to go somewhere, you can set up tweets, Facebook posts for the day through this extension, which makes things very convenient and easy. Now the next extension on this list is Screencastify. This is a screen recorder that you don't have to actually download. You just need the Chrome extension for it and then you sign up for an account and you can record your desktop, certain Chrome tabs, as well as your webcam. And it's very easy to do this with your browser. Now, the only problem is that with the free version, you have a five minute limit without the watermark. But regardless, for a free tool, this is still very useful and very functional. And I would highly recommend it if you don't have much space on your computer or you want something you can record directly with from your browser. And the final extension on this list is going to be Page Marker. If you're making tutorial videos, Page Marker lets you mark up any page without having to uh, you know, download anything. And you can easily change the colors, mark on the screen, and then remove everything. So Page Marker is really good if you want to point at certain things or circle them. If you're explaining certain concepts on your screen, Page Marker will be very, very helpful for that. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.